Okay, today we are going to make um, something with peel. So uh, from peel, as usual, we will uh, import image and image draw. So we are trying to do something like uh, creating images uh, as background. Uh, on top of the, uh, these images, we put other um, transparent images to make covers for posts or for, uh, you know, uh, a video posted on YouTube and things like that. So now what we want to do is to make the background a little better and, uh, and not just with a simple color. If you want to create an Im image, we're going to go e -M image equal image new. Then you put the width and height, width and height of the of the image. Let's define them here instead of K. Okay, let's go 600 for 400. So width and height and uh, and the color that maybe it will be like coral. And this is our image. So now we want to, we don't want to have this background just like a color and nothing else. So we can, uh, we can just do something like, uh, use image draw, dot draw, and here we can, um, we can trace something, okay, we can, uh, Okay, to draw on image, we got to do this, and then we use draw, and uh, for example, point in ten, comma ten, So we have draw, draw dot point, and uh, ten ten. Here is our little point here. So let's say we want to draw a lot of points like this onto this image, and uh, we can also. Fill it with with a color like red instead of white. Then uh, let's put a for loop here. So for n in range w. So for so for hold the width of this image. But starting from let's say ten and then having a step of ten, we are going to draw this. But we are going to draw not always at the same x but going at a different position here on the horizontal line of our um, imaginary, imaginary axis. So let's see what happens. We got, you can see here, these little dots. 
Okay, but now we want also that um, we want to draw it also a lot of lines like this, not just for the If I do something like this, I could have uh, this line having, but we don't want this. So we are going to do this for for y in range 10 h at the step of 10 row n and y filled with red. Okay, now we have all our area filled with these dots. We could change the color to green and also here to to see them. and we will have to to white to black we will have this different background okay so we can also transform these into into a function maybe Let's call it BG and let's call it like uh, uh, the BG color equal green and the foreground color equal yellow and so this is the this is the background and this is the foreground then we we will return an image and let's put image equal bg let's see if it works that's it in green and yellow and uh, in this way we can also change background color here and make it red and yellow or we can change it here like red and and gray or black okay let's see what happens if I call these two times Okay, this just covers the other one. Okay, we can also do this trick here. We could blend two colors and make something like this. If we blend these two, we can do also change this and make it more bluish or more reddish or half. Blue and red goes less this. If you go green, we will have this color here. And so we introduce also this kind of okay, coral and green goes like this. If we do coral and uh, yellow, we have this color here, 
are red red we have this nice red color orange if we go orange with the buff of them you see it, it is a little little different another thing that we can do the last thing that we are going to do is to change this 10 here 10 here 10 here and 10 here and call it step and then go put the step here equal 10 as default or you can make it 5 here and 10 here let's see what happens there we go we go in more intricate uh, points here and so let's change this let's go to 7 let's go to green let's go to white you see there is a lot of things that you could do let's go 5 again and let's go 50 here let's go 0 and you have just the first image 0 0.1 there is a little bit of the second 0 0.2 it goes another little bit so you can do a lot of things and that's all for now